Hello, welcome to this episode of 3D Drawing for Model Railway. Again, we're going to be continuing today with the DTS 62 model. I'm going to make a, a little jump now. I'm going to go from obviously working from right to left, but now I'm going to jump to the left hand side. I'm going to start working on the engine and exhaust system down this end uh, just to try and fill this end out before we see it so we can see what we've got left in the middle, make sure everything's coming together well. So, if we start by, you know, let's just come up the top, create a new component. And kind of call this component the engine. Engine compartment. Okay, and that just sits in this area here. We can see on the photograph here what we're looking at. This is the, the engine. I'm not entirely sure what this is that goes up the top here because the exhausts are here. Um, but there's uh, some sort of re uh, electrical cabinet on there, maybe. A little bit of a cutout on the, the side here, so it's angled down. So it's, it's all going to be sort of one, one base model part that we can then split up for potentially printing if we need to. Okay, so if we have a look at the top down plan, uh, you can see that Paul's got the measurements here 82 and a half on this lower section, 22 on the bit that goes all the way up into the roof up here. Uh, we've also got a height of 39 and a half inches. So we can start to draw that within fusion. I'm going to be starting on this, this first rectangular part here. So let's turn the, the roof off and make sure we've got the engine compartment ticked here. So we create a sketch. We use the floor of the chassis here to create that sketch on. I'm looking at just creating a rectangle in the middle there. So let's look at some measurements. So we've got 51 inches from the back of the cab to the back of this unit, which is quite interesting. It's also 51 inches wide. So 51 inches on, on our internet is 1295.4. So we might as well define the width to start with. 1295.4, 1295.4. That width to me, let's have a look at the pictures. It it might be it might be right. Yeah, well we'll go with it. We'll go with it for now and if we need to we'll change it. Um I think actually what I want is this to be coincidence to the midpoint. Yeah, we do. Uh, unless Paul's got measurements from the side. No, he doesn't. So let's just take this back a step, actually. Get rid of that rectangle. And then we'll create a new rectangle. I'm going to use a center point rectangle. I'm going to find the midpoint of the unit here. Okay, let's go back to the measurements. One two nine five point four. Let's constrain that with a line down the middle. So it's the same measurement as this one here. That does look quite a bit gap there. Go back to that photo. But this photo, this gap here also looks quite large. Okay, so now we've got this to find, need to work out the, the length of the unit. So 22 inches. 558.8 is 22 inches. So let's define that. 558.8. Okay, now we can extrude this upwards. I'm going to turn the roof back on 
I want to extrude to that top surface because if we look at the photos, uh, let's have a look, see if we've got one that's inside that actually shows it going all the way up to the roof. There we go. You can see it goes all the way up into the roof panel here. So we can go up into that roof, roof create it as a new body, and then we'll click on OK. So it's not interfering with either of the sides, which is quite useful. So that will make it easy for creating this as a separate part and then just working from that. Okay, so let's have a look at some photos. So we can see on the bottom we've got this triangular cutout, no real height to find, but that looks about halfway up this unit. So if we get this box with the engine in drawn next, we can create that angle at about halfway point. And I'm quite happy to have this um, engine compartment just at the same width and connected to this part here. So I'm going to actually draw it on the back of there, slice that. And if we have a look at the, the plan, we can find out the height is 39 and a half inches. So if we create a rectangle like that, define the height, which is going to be 39.5, so 1,003 millimetres. We divide by 1.48, and then we can extrude that towards us. Going to click on OK. I'm going to come back and change that exclusion in a minute once we've got the rest of the model back. Okay, so if we look at the length of this, this is 82 and a half inches. So 2095 is our extrusion length. So let's edit that. 2095 divided by 1.8. Okay, so that's going to become our engine compartment here. Okay, so now we can start looking at adding this, this detailing. So as I said, if we look at this photo, we've got this diagonal cutout on the end of the compartment here. And that goes all the way across looking at that. There is maybe a little rectangular box that comes out of it, but find a photo on this side you can see that yeah it, it does it does come all the way across it's just there's a, an extra box in there that we need to add on so if we create a sketch on the side profile then we're going to do a line we're going to start that line in line with the back of this up right here at the base and we're going to want that to be the halfway point up the model there. Click on OK and then we can define that. Okay, and then I'm going to just extrude to cut this all the way to the other side. Okay. Let's start looking for some side details. Let's go to the other side first. Okay, so looking at this, it's got a bit of a frame on the outside. It is actually extruding out slightly. So we can add that on to this side. So if we create a sketch on this wall. I'm just going to draw a line down here to close that off. And then I'm going to use an offset tool Turn off the chain selection. I'm going to select those four sides. I'm going to bring that as a minus number. And I'm thinking maybe 0.5 millimeters. And then we can extrude this towards us slightly. 0.5, it'll go. Let's have a quick look on the other side. Is this the same on the other side? If it is, we can mirror this across. Yes, it is. So we can mirror the body's features. Hopefully that'll just mirror that 
Why not actually? Do the mirror plane, we want the center plane. Is that one? Okay. Oh look, we have it both sides. Yes, we do. That's great. Let's turn that mirror plane back off. Okay, so now looking at this, we've got a couple of doors on here. And I don't think there's any need to draw the, the rear door, but we can draw the front door here, which will be a similar sort of surface to the front here. Um, what I think I'm do, going to do is get a sketch on that inner surface here. We're going to use the offset tool again. And we're going to offset, going to select those three profiles. Again, I want a, a minus. I'm only going to go maybe 0.2. And I'm going to find the midway point of that. I'm going to drag that down and across. And that should be defined because it's on the midpoint. So that should be on the midpoint of that. So why are you not defining? Not sure. Let's define that to the Not sure. Um, we'll just go with what, what's there. I'm just going to drag this forward here. So we're going to end up with this little gap around the outside, which will look like a bit of a recess, so that you can you know, have the the door appearance. So I'm just extruding it out to this outer level there. Let's just check we've got the same body. Yeah. Okay, so we're probably going to want to re copy this across to the other side but you might find that on the other side the doors are flipped the other way around so let's have a quick look at the photos the majority of the photos again are all looking like they're the same side ah, there we go now actually there we go that's actually really useful this is showing that the same part that's at the front is towards this end of the, the machine. So we can just copy that feature across. Use the same plane down that middle. So plane one is going to be our mirror plane. And then we should have that both door both sides there. Good. I can't really see any handles on them. I'm sure there probably is, but this Unfortunately, this handrail going all the way across is possibly showing that maybe there's a handle there. So, I'm going to just I'm going to go through the picture see if I can find any that shows it a little bit better. Okay, so looking from this picture, it does look like there's some sort of little clip there in the middle. So we can also draw that across. That's going to be you know the handle on the side. So if we create a sketch on this side profile, let's use to the center point rectangle, I think. And we'll come down this inner door, find the midpoint, and then just going to create a handle sort of this sort of position. I'm thinking maybe 0 0.4 millimeters high. And yeah, one millimeter should look like it should cover that okay. Let's select this profile and then extrude. And we're just going to bring it out towards us. Actually, let's do a two sided extrusion. So we come out towards us, and we're also going to go back into the machine just so that there's this gap fills in. It's a bit of extra strength. Make sure it's a join. Uh, I think maybe a little bit more than 0.3. Yeah, go 0.4, I think. Okay, and then again, same thing. Going to mirror that feature across plane number one. You see how having that midpoint plane make copying these parts so much easier. Again, you could, you know, you could split it into one and just copy the whole body, but we've started like this. So we just follow this route down now. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the top surface now of the engine here. So you can see what we've got this protective shield for 
we go around the exhaust silencer. There's a couple of little legs that are sitting underneath and then the, the silencer itself sits above. Okay, so we're going to have to start sketching this now. So it doesn't matter which side you want to work on. I'm going to start on this side. I'm going to turn that plane off to start with and I'm going to turn off the roof panel. So first of all, there's a couple of little feet that we need to, to draw on here. Again, I'm only going to draw half of it and move it all across. So if we look at a rectangle, these are set off. That looks like be six inches or so, and they're only quite small feet. So I'm thinking maybe 0.5 wide, or maybe two meters, uh, two millimeters long. Let's have a look to see what that looks might be a bit more than that because that looks maybe a bit more than a foot let's go two and a half millimeters distance from the edge uh, I'm gonna go for a one mil there let's just rotate this round I want this from that edge to be I'm gonna go for 3.7 mil and then I'm going to extrude that upwards by 0.5. Um, let's actually create that as a new body. Let's edit that feature, do new body. It's going to make it easier to copy these. Let's rectangular pattern that body in that direction. I need two of them. We have 6.5 millimeters. So we should now have three bodies here. And then we've got this panel. Now I'm not going to be able to draw this, this shape. I'm just going to have to do a solid shape coming upwards. And I'm just going to draw it on the end of them here. So we create a sketch on that, that surface. Now if we have a look here, we can see that they do sit quite proud of the two feet here. So if we create a rectangle, let's um, hover over here so we can get the, the line on the edge and then we can drag it out like that. I'm going to go for a width of 0.6 and distance on the edge there 1.5 and I'm going to do the same on the other end and do 1.5 there. I want to coincidence that point to that line so they're now all going to connect. We select these profiles and then we can extrude it upwards. Now let's have a look, see if Paul's got a, a measurement. Exhaust. Ah, excellent. So we've got 69 inches. So we can actually add that in. I don't know why it's 15 and 18, because it doesn't look like it's tapered at all. That looks like it's a solid panel. So as there's no height measurements, I'm just going to guesstimate on what I think this is. I'm going to go with something like maybe maybe three mil. How does that look compared to the model? Uh, this is this looks like it's too high there. That's definitely. I'm, I'm going to go about two and a half. I think it's about halfway up the window. It can join, that's fine, because that will mean that we still keep body one separate, and these two should just become body two. Might want to actually make these a little bit longer. Yeah, let's come back into these. Let's go for three mil on there. Because now I need to get the exhaust to sit on them. 
So if we look at the picture, obviously it pretty much touches here. Okay, so let's draw a circle pattern. I'm going to draw it off of that plane. We're using this plane here to draw this circle on. I'm going to find the midpoint. So it's the midpoint between these two positions here. And I want the midpoint on the height here. Which is probably not going to be unless we can maybe project that. Yes, we can. And then we can maybe find the midpoint there. That's it. I'm just going to overlap them slightly so that there's that extra strength. So 2.6. You can see it overlaps ever so slightly on both of them. It's not sticking out the top, which is fine. And let's extrude this. Okay, so I probably want two sided extrusion. I'm going to come this way. One millimeter, and then I'm going to go back this way. So it's going to be nine millimeters long in total. Okay, so pull four is one millimeter that way, and eight backwards. So that's going to give us that that shape there. So the next thing I'm going to draw is this part of the exhaust coming out here. The other end I think will be possibly better off doing. I'm thinking maybe that one might be better to do wire because it's going to be floating. I could try it. We could we could draw it in, and then see how it prints. If it doesn't, then we might be better off just doing wire afterwards. But I could certainly draw this on this end. Okay, so let's come down to the top surface, and we're going to draw on the top surface a circle. Mm, thinking sort of this area here. Let's go for two millimeters, and we'll extrude that upwards. Like half a mil. And then we're going to chamfer the top off. That's half a mil there. Okay, if we inspect that, that's going to give us one millimeter diameter. So if we put a one millimeter circle on the end here and draw that outward slightly, we can then loft between the two. Slice that. Why is that slice turned off? Doesn't matter, I'm just going to rotate it slightly. Let's extrude that by 0 0.2 just to give us a little bit of leeway on the end. And if we loft between that profile and that profile, and it's not gone curved. Tangent on that one and tangent on ooh, no, 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 curvature, no, connect there. Is that going to give that's not the shape we're after at all? That's because that's sloped in. That's why it can't do that tangent. I know how to fix this. Let's cancel that. Let's extrude this surface up 0.1 millimeters. Now we'll be able to do it. We should be able to do it. Let's see, oops. That profile to that profile. Tangent on both of them. There we go. So it was giving us a weird shape if we spin this round. It's giving us a weird shape on the bottom because it's trying to be tangent to this line. So there's bringing it up straight, you then get that curved arc. Okay, so that's our exhaust on that side sorted. 
So now we've got the other end to do, which could be a bit more complicated. So we can see from these photos that not only does it curve inwards slightly on the model, but you've also got this shape where it comes out and then back on itself and then up. Which, yeah, is a little bit on the complicated side to draw. So uh, let's turn the cab off to start with, so that's out of the way. Uh, and that's going to be that one. And then we can turn off. Oh, what's this loft is joined? Um, let's change this. You need to be a separate body. There we go. There we go, that's what we're after. Okay, so now if we create a sketch on this centre point here, we're going to grab the, the spline point tool and we're just going to come up slightly in, in, up. Click on OK. Okay, and then we're going to try and move these around these points. Select that point and then move. So that point to start with. Okay, and then that one. I'm going to bring this one down slightly. Okay, let's to, let's stick a pipe on there now. Let's see what it looks like, then we can move it around if we need to. Let's to join. That's a bit thicker than that, maybe 0.8 millimeters. That's about maybe too big. I don't know actually. Uh, have the roof on and the engine compartments on the side. Okay, how's that looking? Now I think it's not going to be seen too much, but it, it's, it looks okay actually. Let's just extrude the top here. So it's going to be the same height as that. Ah, okay. Because that's going to be the height of the roof. That's what I'm thinking there. Yeah, it's got to come down like that to, to be the same height as the roof there. Okay, so I think that doesn't look too bad. I think it's going to look okay, especially you know, you're not going to be able to get right up close and impersonal with that. So I'm, I'm reasonably happy with that. Let's mirror, uh, select bodies, select that body, and then the mirror plane is going to be this plane one, which is the center point. Okay, so we've got two of them next to each other. That might be a bit of an issue because they're a bit close there. They need to come apart a little bit so we can do that if we come back into this sketch edit that sketch okay let's turn off that body okay so we need to move these ones across slightly so bring it out 0.4 so maybe that would be 3 there maybe Let's skip forwards in the history so they can then draw that again. OK, 
Okay, so why have you now failed on your mirror? It could be because we made a change, which isn't an issue. Let's just have a look. Compute failed. Okay, let's edit feature. Make sure we've got these deleted. So mirror plane is fine. The body we want is that one. Nope, it's not going to like it. Let's just do it again then. Let's delete that from the history. Mirror bodies, select that body. Mirror plane, be that one. Click on OK. It could be because they were trying to join rather than becoming a new body. It might have been trying to join into the roof. Now they were part slightly, I think it looks okay still. Side on profile, it goes out and in. Inside profile, let's have a look at turning this cap off there. You can see all the way down. It looks like it come, comes in like that. that I, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Okay, let's turn the roof panel off and then we'll combine these. So we'll Use the combine tool, select body one as our, our target body, and then tool bodies, we can select those two on the top there, click on OK. Not sure about what's going on there. Let's see if we can get rid of those. Um, if we do this. It's because we've extruded this downwards and they've not fully come across. Let's create an offset plane. Let's actually cancel that. We come back before the mirror. Offset plane on that surface. Click on OK and then split that body using that surface. We can then remove you and then everything should be fine when it goes back forwards turn off that construction plane you may need to file these a little bit to get that a bit smooth with the roof but that's it looks okay have this all back on so i think I'm going to leave this episode here for the moment. We'll come back and add more detail on the next episode. But I think that's a really good start on that engine compartment, which is starting to make this feel like it's, it's padding out quite nicely. Hope you've enjoyed watching today's lesson.